In MuseCore Studio 4.4, we've added a ton of features to Dynamics and Hairpins, including improved positioning defaults and independent playback of Dynamics invoices. I'll open the Dynamics palette to add a mezzo forte to this piano part, where it gets perfectly centered between the two staves. A dynamic that's purple when selected applies to all voices on the instrument during playback. To make it apply to the right hand only, go to Properties, click All under Voice Assignment, and change it from All Voices on Instrument to All Voices on this staff, which repositions the dynamic accordingly. If I want the left hand to play softer than the right, I can copy and paste the last dynamic and it will retain its properties even when changed to mezzo piano. And if I'd like this specific passage in the right hand to be forte, I can choose Voice 1. Since there's music written in multiple voices, the dynamic automatically jumps above the staff. Similarly, on a staff where two violin parts are written on separate voices, I can assign dynamics to each part individually, this time using the voice buttons in the Note Input Toolbar. Hairpins and dynamics on the same voice snap to each other for easy repositioning. Let's hear how that sounds. If you want to change the default positioning settings across your entire score, you can do so in Format, Style, Dynamics and Hairpins, where you'll find options like configuring above the staff positioning for vocal instruments and centering between the staves of grand staff instruments. When adding a dynamic from palettes, hold Control on Windows or Command on Mac to assign it to a specific voice. In Preferences, you can choose whether dynamics are assigned to all voices or to the voice of the selected note or rest when added to the score. You can also quickly change the voice assignment of a dynamic or hairpin with the Use Voice shortcuts. Hold Control and Alt, or Command and Option on a Mac, followed by 1, 2, 3, or 4 for a specific voice, 0 for all voices on instrument, or minus for all voices on the staff. Plus, you can customize any of the selection colors in the Advanced tab. Check out our other tutorials to see what else is new in MuseCore Studio, and if you want to stay updated with the latest features, be sure to subscribe to this channel.